Art Williams has spoken to many business groups throughout the years. The following speech was delivered to the 1987 National Religious Broadcaster Convention and has become a classic example of Art's philosophy on winning in business. It is simply entitled, Do It. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. And I tell you, I don't know if I've been this nervous in a long time. This is the most intimidating thing that uh, I think's ever happened to me. An old, dumb South Georgia football coach uh, speaking to a bunch of TV personalities like many of you, uh, many great uh, evangelists in the audience, and who put me between uh, Falwell and Swaggart on the same night just totally blows me away. But uh, I'll try to give it my best shot. I was asked to talk to you about how to win in business. I think it's a good subject for you to think about because I believe business in America is in a crisis situation today. All you have to do is read the paper and, and every month see uh, our trade deficit. And it's just a very depressing uh, situation. And uh, to speak to you about how to win in business, there's a lot of obvious things I could talk about. You first have to find a need. You've got to feel a need for a consumer out there. You've got to have a market. You've got to have somebody to sell uh, your product or your service to. You've got to, if you really want to get big and win big, you've got to have a uniqueness. There's got to be something a little bit different from you than all the competition out there. But by far the most important thing you've got to have to win in business in these United States today is a very unique kind of mental toughness. I believe the difference in winning and losing in the free enterprise system is so small, it's almost too scared to talk about. You can do 99% of the things right in business, and yet if you don't possess what I call that winning edge, that mental toughness, folks, it's impossible to win. I believe the thinking in corporate America has been screwed up over these last 20 or 25 years, and I believe this screwed up kind of thinking started in our big liberal universities today. I believe a college degree in business for most universities today is not worth the papers written on. I just had a son graduate from the University of Georgia uh, a few months ago. The reason I think that is because most of these professors in most of these universities today hadn't got enough common sense to get in out of the rain. They don't have any idea what it takes to win out there in the real world. They deal in a bunch of theory. Uh, these people are try have tried to fill up corporate America with this kind of thinking. These are the special people. If you're born rich, if you're born on the right side of the track, they rule you the privileged class in America. If you're born poor from an average, ordinary background like I came from, they, they, they say you're supposed to give up all your big dreams and all your big ambitions and all your big hope. If you have, have a high IQ, they rule you brilliant. If you have an average IQ like me, they say you ought to drive a truck or be a janitor. Well, bull. That, 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 that ain't the way. That ain't the way it is, and that ain't the way it ever was. They ain't nobody ever designed a test, nor will they design a test that can measure the heart of a man or a woman. The things that, the things that are unique to winning in business in America today are not outside artificial things like IQs, college board scores, college degrees, and stuff like that. The key to winning in these United States is what's inside a person. It's your integrity. It's your people abilities. It's your character. I believe in developing this winning edge. I've got 10 or 12 points that I won't be able to go over with you tonight. But let me just give you a flavor of what I think you've got to do to succeed in these United States. Number one, you've got to get excited. Folks, I don't believe anybody will ever tell you anything more important than this in winning in these United States. Ninety plus percent of winning in anything you try to do in America today, you've got to be excited. People in America won't follow or believe in a negative, dull, disillusioned, frustrated, dadgum crybaby. People want people that are positive and excited and enthusiastic and tough. The greatest, listen, the greatest definition I ever heard. I thought about this 10 million times when I wanted to quit along the way of a winner. This guy said almost everybody in America can stay excited for two or three months. A few people can stay excited for two or three years. But a winner will stay excited for 30 years or ever how long it takes to win. Another key to building this winning edge and this mental toughness is you've got to become a dreamer again. 
You know, I'm a Methodist, and we just changed ministers a few weeks ago, and our new minister came in, and, and the uh, church was just packed. And the first thing he said, he says, well, it looks like everybody came out to see the monkey perform. And the second, the second thing out of his mouth, he said, for a church to be a great church, you've got to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, you're dead. And boy, I sat up and I said, man, me and this guy are going to get along good because he knows what he's talking about. See, folks, I believe in order to win, you've got to feel good about yourself. I, 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 when I was coaching football for seven years back in Georgia, and I had a paddle in my coaching office. It was about this thick and this long. And in the fat end, I had little holes bored in it so you could really get some speed and blister the little butt, you know, when they misbehaved. And, and I had a rule on my football team that if any kid said, I can't, if any football player heard, heard one of my football players said, I can't, he got to bring him in the coach's office and give him three licks. And it took me about a month to get all that thinking out of my players every year, you know. And I'd, I'd have football players knock on my door at recess and at lunch and after school. And he said, Coach, he said it. Coach, he said it. And I'd make that kid bend over and I'd give that other kid the board. He'd bust him three times. And folks... It didn't take long. You couldn't create a word game to, to get one of my, my kids to say, I can't. Bring it home a little bit more personal. When April and Little Art were, were just this little and could understand words, every time they said, I can't, I made them do three push-ups. Folks, there ain't nothing you can't do in America if you want to bad enough. Another key in building this winning edge is, folks, you've got to stand for something. People in America, the good people in America, are fed up with here with these dadgum fence sitters and mealy mouths. Uh, corporate America has an especially black eye uh, in business today. Most people in America think you can't find a company. They think you can't find a salesperson that will tell you like it is and stand behind the word. They think these companies will sell anything, say anything, just to make a sale, just to make a profit. Well, you know what, folks, if you want to win in the free enterprise system in America today, you've got to stand for something. And another, and another point, thank you, is, you, uh, is yes, you're going to be controversial. Folks, if you want to win in these United States today, just get ready. You're going to be controversial. The only way not to be controversial is to be average and ordinary. They just call me anything but, but average and ordinary. Now, I know some of you might say, well, well, you know, I don't think I like Art Williams. He, you know, he sounds like an old tough butt to me. Well, folks, I'm telling you, you can be good and tough at the same time. I, I bet nobody's ever talked to a religious broadcaster like that. <laughs>